What's going on, Bruce? Another basic Chad Investor Bro video coming at you. You're definitely going to want to stick around for this one because in this one we're going to actually be talking about about 16 different cards. I think we got seven illustration rares, two special illustration rares, two hyper rares, two sword and shield secret rares, and then four very popular Scarlet and Violet era cards that are going down. All the rest of those are going up. Half these cards, none of the other Investor Bros have even noticed yet are going up. So literally, this is essentially the next round of illustration rares that are about to pop off. Um, they're, they're absolutely gaining in value. No one's talking about them. So definitely stick around for this video and we will get in to these new illustration rares and other cards that are popping off. But then also we're going to hit four cards. Uh, you know, when it comes to stuff going down in price uh, recently, there's a lot of them, okay? There's a lot of sword and shield alt arts and, and a lot of sword and shield trainer galleries and a lot of cards that are in these crown zenith. A lot of cards are giving some back though. But I'm not really going to focus on those because it's all to be expected. Nothing goes straight up and just keeps going up. Certain things are going down, but they're just down compared to how much they went up over the last two months. So we're not going to talk about that. As far as the going down stuff at the end, it's just going to be very popular cards that just recently in the last day or two have started to fall down. So if you were trying to buy those cards, pay attention all the way to the end because now is going to be your time, potentially, for those folk four cards. All right, quick channel announcement. Real quick, I need your guys' help. Actually, a couple a couple announcements. One, I just want to say thank you to all you, the viewers. It was like literally a month ago I hit 1,000 subs, and I'm already up to 1,700 subs. Like a, a couple weeks from now I may be saying, oh my god, I'm at 2,000 subs. So I just want to take a second. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so this channel, I would like to do something that a lot of Pokemon TCG channels do, except I want to do it better, and I want to do it in a more entertaining way, and I want to do it funner, and I want to do it once a week. And that's your basic Ask Me Anything Q&A video, okay guys? Here's the thing, and here's why I need your help, and I want you to send me some questions. First of all, either send the questions to my Instagram, which is just Mimic Brew, and just title it QA with the question, or just write it in any one of my videos. I don't care, just put QA on there. And what I want to do is, yes, ask me Pokemon card questions, that's fine, but I want you to ask me anything. I want you to ask me about video games, I want you to ask me about TV, movies, you know, what's my, what's my thoughts on the latest uh, episode 3 of The Acolyte? Oh god, um, but yeah, so you know, anything pop culture related, I want to alternate Pokemon card questions with interesting, funny pop culture questions, and then I would have some music playing in the background, it'd be highly edited, it'd be quick. Not a boring, no music, no vibe, just I sit there and answer questions, I'm not doing that, I want to do a fun Q&A. So please, send me your questions, whatever, what kind of pizza I like, I don't care, to uh, Mimic Brew on Instagram or just write it down below in any of these videos. Alright guys, let's hurry up right now and get into these cards I promised you no one else is talking about. You don't even know that some of these IRs are going up. You don't. Allow me, Mimic Brew, the, the greatest investor brew of all time. I should sell my soul and just make these kind of videos every day because Poke Beard, that dude's got 130,000 subs. Alright, 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 all right. let's not get jealous. Let's not get jealous, alright? All right, here we go. So we're going to start off with the illustration rares, and we're going to start off with Obsidian Lames because Obsidian Lames never gets any love. Well, guess what? Cleffa is at an all-time high. <clears throat> In fact, Cleffa passed nine tails recently. Check this out. Cleffa is almost nine dollars. Let's look at the one-year chart on Cleffa. Yeah, we don't count the drop-off. We we start counting right here. So Cleffa's previous high, you know, it was like five bucks forever, and then eight bucks. Well, look at this. Cleffa is now a nine dollar card wow so cleffa obsidian flames is finally popping off in certain ways and starting to make some moves there you go cleffa and here's the other one so nine tails this one you probably already knew about except you bet you didn't know cleffa passed it up but here we go so let's look at the one month on the nine tails and again a nine tails and psa 10 is uh, coming up on a hundred dollars <clears throat> I need to look up what the Cleffa is. The Cleffa, by the way, this is probably a really tough grade. When you got that much blank area for scratches and imperfections, I, I'm not shocked at all that that Cleffa is going up and is now the most expensive IR in Obsidian Flames, but then the Nine Tills is literally neck and neck right with it. They are both looking very strong and very healthily going up. Not any of that pumper crap, okay? Now, let's get to a card that has been here before, okay? 
call it round two. Gah. There it is, ghastly. We're about to see a giant toilet bowl here. Not on this chart, but on that chart. Look at that frickin' toilet bowl. That's a 90-day toilet bowl. So we had here, we had 35, 35 essentially. And here, I mean, Jesus, look at this. This is just, you know, ghastly is ghastly. All right, so just so you guys know, and by the way, I'm just, this whole video, I'm not suggesting, I'm not predicting, I'm not doing any of that crap this time around. I'm just letting you know because I just happen to be on the forefront of a lot of these cards, so a lot of these cards is the first time you will be hearing about them, such as this card, Metagross. Metagross, we got, we got a cup, we got, okay, so yeah, we got three straight Temporal Force cards. We had Ghastly, and now we have Metagross, and we have another one coming up. Look at this. Look at this Metagross. This thing was nothing. Like, I released four bucks. I bought mine for like three bucks. Yeah, I was gonna say, it got, it got really low. But then Metagross, just in the last couple of weeks. But then look right here, just a few days ago. Bang! So Metagross is at an all-time high. There you go. So Metagross. So, uh, and then here's the last of the Temporal Forces. So it looks like a lot of the Temporal Force IRs are getting some love recently. But look at this Arbok. This is honestly... I love this Arbok. I, I think this was the first IR I pulled from Temporal Forces. I love the symmetry, I love the toucan, I love the moon in the background. It's the it's the moon effect. Anytime there's a moon on a card, it gets a little premium. But yeah, so uh, Arbok is definitely at an all-time high. Look at that. So there you go, you have Ghastly doing this crazy toilet bowl. You have Metagross at an all-time high, and you have all Arbok, so that's three temporal forces. So there you go. So we had two Obsidian Flames, three temporal forces. Now we're going to go to the Rift. Eveltol, Eveltol is rising like the phoenix. Look at that. Look at Eveltol. I mean, it's funny because cards like this, when when you look at them, and then you see this, you're like, oh, well, no shit. Well, but but this whole time, this whole time for the last six months, this was not the case. This was a very cheap card. This was a six dollar card for a long, long time. Um, but now, finally, hey, you know this card. Call it delayed inevitability, because you can't you can't lie. That's a beautiful card. And this card is just as beautiful as it looks in person, even without texture, because it's an IR. It's just a really good looking. It's probably a Veltel. Well, no, a Veltel. Veltel has some cool X and Y cards, but for recent memory, it is in recent memory by far and away the coolest Veltel card. I'm probably saying Veltel wrong. I don't care, all right? All right, now, I don't even want to go to this next slide, but we'll just do it. Oh, my God, because it is going up, and I am trying to identify literally every card that's going up, because there's not a lot of them right now. But, my God, here we go. The bane of my existence. Magikarp, $140. It is not slowing down. This card just keeps on chugging. <sighs> this is the single most painful card in existence that of all the cards that are skyrocketing in price this is the number one card i want for myself if every sword and shield altar i don't have keeps going up in price i don't even care it's this card that every time it goes up an extra ten dollars it pisses me off ten percent more oh my god all right so we're at 140 dollars for an ultra modern illustration rare that just came out barely over a year ago what are your thoughts on that <laughs> Uh, I mean, I love Paldea, and I understand why. It's because it has 36 IRs. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Set size is the biggest, most important factor. All right, so now we're done with the IRs. It was Cleffa, Ninetales, Ghastly, Metagross, Arbok, Eveltol, and Magikarp. So there you go. There's your seven IRs that are actually doing something this week or continuing to do stuff this week. Now let's get into two SIRs. So in my last Investor Brew video, I said absolutely watch this Charizard around the $100 mark because if it breaks under things tend to free fall and if it doesn't break under it tends to bounce and bounce hard and oh boy was i right about the bounce and bounce hard part because it bounced from 100 almost all the way up to its all-time high at least in recent yeah like this card has tested 100 literally three or four times and every time it bounces back up to 110 112 115 so for those of you that already own the card i think we're seeing a lot of strong signs of staying north of 100 for those of you that want the card, I don't know how many more times this card is going to attempt to break under 100 and fail. 
So I don't know, you might actually have to pay $100 for this absolutely gorgeous Charizard, I'm sorry. Okay, so this next card, I have bought this next IR, or SIR, pardon me, at $40, at $20, and at $12. So I've seen, like, you know, I've purchased this card multiple times at various, very different price points. Love this card, Maridon EX from the base set. So, um, and yeah, that's not Fido, that's Dash Bun. Okay, guys, some people... Anyway, it's Dash Bun, Maridon will give him Dash Bun the eyes as he flies on by. This is a $23, $24 card now. Let's look at the one year. So as you can see, this is why we're talking about it. It me, 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 fizzled over the course of an entire year, just to just in the last month, spring all the way back up and gain all of that back. Literally all of that has been gained back in the last little year. Okay? But it was a $40 card for a month or, or about a month. I, I bought it way too soon. The first first of three attempts to buy it. Uh, but I don't care. I got a perfect copy waiting to grade, and I'm very happy. And I'm happy it's up to that second price point I paid, because it's a beautiful card. All right, now we're going to get into two uh, hype, hyper rares. Not secret rares, hyper rares for SV. This one's definitely playability re related, but it's doing better than its SIR version as far as consistency. And it's actually still going up, even though it's been very popular in the playability scene for a couple weeks now. Because um, it was at regionals a few weeks ago that this card really took off. But all the versions of Raging Bolt have calmed down, except for this one, which is still going up. Because, yeah, I bought this card for $13 two weeks ago. Three weeks ago? Yeah. I guess a little more than that. I literally just bought this card for 13 bucks, and it's already 20 bucks now. So that's cool. And then next is my favorite, my absolute favorite Hyper Rare from the SV era. I don't know, every time I own the card, I see the card, I'm like, dude, his teeth are so sharp and he's so glittery. I just freaking love this Paradox Rift Garchomp EX. Uh, hyper rare, and look at that. So if you look at a three month, it doesn't look as impressive because it's at, it hit a 10. Let's, let's go wider here. So we have da 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 da. So all in all, it only looks good if you look at it on the one month, but on the one month, it looks really good. <laughs> So, I mean, I'm just saying it's it's trending healthy, and maybe I'm a little biased because I absolutely love It's literally my favorite card. I love the way the texture and the teeth and the crystals just works for this card. It works. Trust me. If you own the card, you know. All right, let's get into two, uh, two Sword and Shield cards that this week are doing way better than a lot of them. So, my last Investor Brew video, I told you just to keep your eye out on Rainbow Hyper Rares from the Sword and Shield block. All the Evolving Skies ones held their value and didn't give anything back. And a lot of other ones are really starting to pick up the pace and start to fly. Let's look at two of them right now. Mew. Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike! I didn't want to be too loud. I could have done that better, trust me. Uh, yeah. So let's look at Mew. It's at 44. But it was at 30 in May. So it's doing very well, and as you can see, there's no letdown. It is actively at its high right now. Now let's hurry up and go to the other one. Blaziken. This one's really crazy, because check this out. <clears throat> in March, this was a, a $13 card. $12, $13 card in March. And then here we are at $52. It's a very beautiful uh, secret rare, in my opinion, too. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right, so now let's real quick take a look at four, uh, four cards that aren't doing so well this week that are popular because there's a lot of cards that aren't doing well but i mean whatever i just wanted you guys to know about these four specifically mainly in each one for its own unique unique reason charizard ex the first time i've ever seen this card at 30 dollars <clears throat> literally so i mean when it first came out for a split second it was but uh this card has always been 38 to 33 35 dollars but just recently it tapped 30 bucks so it's at about 30, 31 bucks right now. So now might be a really good time to get this full art Charizard. When it comes to full arts, 151 has the best, most embossed, coolest, most mean looking full arts. And this Charizard is the prime example of that. I love this Charizard full art probably a lot more than the Charizard SIR from 151. Sorry. Like that's just a cool badass illustration of Charizard. And it's very classic. Every part of him is just the classic stereotypical beautiful Charizard I remember from 1999 so yeah this yeah but it's going down it's 30 bucks basically the first time ever Tyranitar is given a, a fair amount back 
hit that 45 and now it's sitting at 35 so you got a nice 25 percent off of its high right now i would keep watching that wouldn't be surprised if this car is back up to 40 before we know it alteria recently jumped from 25 dollars forever all the way up to 45 but it is finally given a little back this is the last card i need for paradox rift master set so i am very very happy about this and i'm paying very close attention to alteria for obvious reasons such as i just said i need the card so it's under 40 now and then real quick i uh, i made a whole video about do not buy ev um it's taking a little longer to drop than i assumed uh but it looks like it's about to crack under 39 here ah uh, yeah because i said you know it's going to be like this sets ghastly where it shoots all the way back down to 20 and it's taken way too long to do that so definitely i was right and letting you know you shouldn't buy it at 48 bucks or whatever um but yeah it's let's watch it around 39 see if it cracks because, yeah, I mean, I could, this could go down to 35 32 bucks. I could see this as a $32 card for a little while. So I would I would keep holding off on that. Uh, yeah. But. So, guys, that's all I got. I just want to remind you to please send me any random questions about TV, movies, video games, anything pop culture related or Pokemon. I would love to have a once a week video where I... Just answer a lot of stupid questions, a lot of good questions, a lot of vulgar questions. Uh, I, you know, this is an adults-only channel, so you can literally ask me whatever the hell you want. Um, but yeah, until my next video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.